let's pretend that I work for a public agency and this document may be subject to a Freedom of Information Act request. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and redact it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to redact the ship to receipt here because even though this was billed to and I see who had sent it, the ship to is the person that's actually getting it and we may not want people in the public to know exactly who they're shipped to. So I can take this redaction control and draw a nice little square rectangle around it. And then I have this control here to burn in. When I burn in, I can select to burn in my redactions or my annotations and I can burn in. Now burning in creates a new version of the document so that I can't go and see the version or the document without the redaction. It's actually part of the image and now part of that document. Okay? I also noticed some things that are, that are wrong here. I noticed, that the, um, I noticed that the FOB information is missing, so I better make an annotation and call that as well. So let's go and highlight this annotation. And uh, we don't want yellow. Let's go red. And let's go ahead and circle. Um, no, actually, we want this one here. We're going to do, there we are. Let's go and circle this. Maybe give ourselves a little arrow to point to it. Probably not necessary. The big red circle is probably fine. But just to give you an idea, here's the text control. Let's we'll just say missing info is good enough. Make it a little bigger. There we are. Missing info. So it's obvious that's what we have here. Now with redaction, I can burn in, but what I can also do is if I save the redaction, or the annotation, excuse me, it saves it as a layer. So rather than altering the file, it saves it as a layer on top of the file. I can actually send this to multiple people, have multiple people annotate the document, and it will store their annotations separately from each other uh, and allow me to pull them up one by one and look at those annotations. So it's a great way of facilitating a review cycle on content. Okay. Let's move across the top here. Um, let's go ahead and change the type now. We see that this is an invoice. And um, so I'm going to go ahead and select invoice. Go to next. Now again, I could go ahead and index this document right here if I wanted to. But I want to pull some information off of the screen. So I'm going to press done. And instead what's going to happen is that my display over here on the right is going to alter to show my invoice properties. Okay? And so what I also have is I have database lookup configured here so that if I go ahead and enter the phone number off of this, uh, off of this um, document here, let's go ahead and zoom in on that. Oops, view. The 216. 292-7393. I tab out of there, what you see is that the database lookup will go out to my finance system or ERP system and automatically pull that information in. Uh, database lookup is really important when you're doing uh, uh, application integration with line of business applications. If you want to retrieve this document from that line of business application with our search URL capability, you have to make sure it's indexed correctly on the way in. And database lookup is a great way to make sure that that works.